Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform some calculations such as total sales and average sales by account manager in the QSTO query language of Microsoft Fabric real time analytics. Therefore, let's get started. Basically, we can see some information in this KQL dashboard. For example, I created sales data database. And of course, inside the database, I created a table named sales. Now, when I click on this expand icon, I can see all the columns in the sales table. Now, basically, I ingested the data in a CSV file into the sales table in the sales data database of KQL. And of course, we can see the table details such as the row count. I've got 1,532 records and then row ingested in last 24 hours. Schema last altered by myself. And of course, I can see the last altered time and some other information. Now, for example, the data ingested into the KQL is by default not available in the one leg. Now, I can see this inactive one leg and what I'm going to do is click on this icon. When I click on this icon, I can see the data availability in one leg, which is inactive. Now, to make it active, I'm going to click on this enabled, and there we go. It's not active, so just go ahead and click on done. But that's not the focus of this video. So I'm going to close this window. Now, let's see how we can write some of this query in the query window of the KQL. Now, I'm going to come to this sales query. In the query set, we can actually fetch all the records in the sales table. Now, that's super easy to do. Just type in the name of the table, which is sales, and then just go ahead and click on run. And that's going to return all the records in that sales table. Now, we can see we have 1,532 records. But let's say we want to improve the performance of this query by returning, let's say, um, top 20 records i can use the take operator just control enter and that's going to include this single pipe now this is very important but when i use let's say enter now the pipe is not going to be included so the shortcut is control enter and that includes the pipe so okay i can type in the take function and then i can type in 20 so hey just give me the first 20 rows and click on run and there we go so when you check there we can see we have 20 records and this is much better now the goal is to calculate the total sales average sales by account manager so i'm going to delete this now i can use the summarize operator that produces a table that aggregates the content of the input table so i'm going to press the tab key now this is the way it works i'm going to give the name of the new calculated column or the column so i'm going to call this one total sales equals then i'm going to use the sum function so sum and then i'm going to type in total because i've got the total column already in this data and just super fine now first let's see by account manager and there we go now we have the total sales by account manager now for some reason that i don't understand i can see this blank rows which doesn't make sense now I'm going to deal with that later now the goal is not to calculate the total sales but also the average sale now this is the way it works i'm going to delete this part of the kql code i'm going to put in a comma and again i'm going to define the name of the new columns i'm going to call this one um avg sales that is average sales and the equals to avg function again on the total column and then we can use by account manager now this is the convention so select the query which is very important click on run and there we go so we have the total sales average sales by account manager i'm going to make this to you know go up a little bit now let's deal with all this blank cell so now what i figured out is i'm going to click on this and i can actually filter this result so i'm going to click on this filter so i'm going to choose not empty now when i click on that there we go just click outside now we have the meaningful result which is cool now we can see we have some extraneous decimals so i can use the round function around that so round and delete this i'm going to type in the sum function again and delete now this is actually not working fine because it's actually including the closing parentheses every now and then when i call a new function but that's totally fine 
so i'm going to delete one of the brackets here and i'm going to put in a comma and I want to round to two decimals so this is fine i'm going to repeat the same thing let me just you know cut this and type in the round function and then i can control v i can put in a comma two and then we can select the code and click on run and there we go so we have the total sales by account manager so i can come back here again and filter that is not empty and then there we go so we have the total sales by account manager and average i can even go ahead and sort let's want to sort by the total sales just click on it and then i'm going to sort from largest to smallest once and there we go so you can see the total sales the largest total sales was generated by account manager named Connor Rulebe with a total value of 174,198. Now, I'm going to come to Excel and see whether this is correct. So, this is the same data set I ingested. So, come to the Insert tab. I want to choose Pivot Table, New. And then I can look for the Account Manager, drop in the rows, and then the total. I'm going to drop in the values, and then I'm going to drop again. Okay, and I'm going to come here, right click. I want to summarize values by average. I can right click and choose number format and currency. Click OK. I'm going to come here, right click, number format again, currency. Click OK. And let me just tidy this up. Just delete the tool, click enter. And then I'm going to sort this right click. I want to sort largest to smallest and there we go so this actually gave us one seven four thousand one eight two i can come to the design tab hey show in tabular form so we have the name of the field account manager so when you compare this result with what we achieve in the kql you can see we have the same thing so this is basically how we can write the kql code to calculate the total sales average sales by account manager with the condition basically we use the summarize and then we pass in the name of the new column and then the sum function and then the round function and we round to two decimals and we repeated the same thing for the average and then this is like the group by so we are grouping by the account manager so i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share with friends and comment thank you and bye for now cheers